Happy New Year to all of the subscribers out there. I hope you have an excellent 2024. I think 2024 is going to be the best year yet. <laughs> I think 2024 is going to be the best year yet. But I was thinking about resolutions. Not just financial, but just resolution in period, right? Because you feel so hopeful in the beginning. It's going to be a new year. I'm turning over a new leaf. You know, they talk about stop, start, continue, right? Stop doing bad stuff. Start doing great stuff and continue doing good stuff if you're already doing it. But it really takes, because we're, it really takes a mental fortitude. It really takes mental fortitude to change habits that are bad and are so ingrained. People talk about stopping smoking, and you know it's a bad habit we all know, but it's so hard for many people to overcome because of the addiction of the nicotine and just the routine. But today I was in the gym working out and you know the desire to get in shape is one of the most common New Year's resolutions along with financial um, goals. So I'm in the gym, I'm working out and I realize your body, your muscles does not care about what resolution you made. It really doesn't care. It does not care. As I was there working out and feeling the burn and pushing, the only thing the muscle is going to respond to is the actual stimuli of the weight and the resistance of pushing the weight. Everything, everything leading up to that does not have an effect on the muscle. So, getting ready to go to the gym, getting dressed, getting in the car, driving to the gym. None of that matters. The, act, the only thing that actually matters is getting in there and actually working out that's it and in like manner a lot of us have financial goals we want to get to right we want to start contributing to our 401k if we haven't right we want to make sure we're getting the match we want to call hr we want to see if there's a, a match we want to really go through the choices of investments and see if these are good choices Right? Do they offer an index uh, plan? Do they offer an S&P 500 index plan? Are there more expensive, actively managed funds that I don't want any part of? But you have to do the actual work. Did you actually pick up the phone? Did you actually pick up the phone and call human resources? Did you uh, look through the plan? Because all the wishes and desires does not matter. Because before you know it, by the third week of January, most people have already broken the resolution, and that's it. They're paying for the membership automatically, but they're not working out. And just like all the desires you have, um, I was going to contribute X amount, but you didn't. You didn't start it, and you're not keeping yourself accountable. And now it's already February, and, and you're back to your whole routine because you're not seeing immediate gratification. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to get a the first thing we have to do is to be serious. We're not going to change the whole world one time, but we have to be serious. We are going to open the account. Open the brokerage account. Some of you out there have not, have not done that. Open the brokerage account. There is Fidelity. There is Vanguard. There's Charles Schwab. Open the account. Link your checking account. Find the S&P 500 index to get started. Make your, set up, set up your automatic contributions. Open your Roth IRA. This year they're raised the contribution limits for 2024 from 6,500 to 7,000. If you're under 50, if you're over 50, an extra thousand, so 8,000. 
if you're 50 and over. Open the account. Begin to fund them. Right? Did you make your January contribution yet? What's your plan for your January contribution? Are they going to be 10% from each paycheck every time you get paid? Whatever it is. Whatever the amount you want to have in by the end of the year, divide it by the number of paychecks and set it up. Action is the only thing. Action is the only thing that matters. Taking action is the only thing that matters. A lot of people have these resolutions and they have a fairy tale. They said, a goal without a plan is just a dream. It's a fairy tale. I'm just wishing because it's January 1st, but I'm not really going to do anything different. All the wishing and dreaming and scheming does not matter until you take action. Write down your goals. Yeah. Write it down. It's something between the, the brain and the hand and the coordination. Write it down. That's, that, that makes it real. Write it down. Right? Perfect goal would be, I want to maximally fund my Roth IRA. Do you have a Roth IRA? No. Open a Roth IRA. Open a Roth IRA with one of the um, legacy brokerage houses. Your Vanguard, your Fidelity, your Charles Schwab. Go on and open it and begin to start thinking about buying the S&P 500. I don't want to give you financial advice, but this is a great start for most people. Buy the S&P 500. Start, find what the ticker symbol is. Find what the ticker symbol is for the S&P 500. VOO is a great, VOO is the ET. VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Buy the S&P 500 ETF, whatever the version is in Fidelity or Charles Schwab, and it's contributed. You're going to be happy you did come February. It's going to be a little easier. Make it automatic. That's the other thing. Make it automatic, and you're going to be happy you did come the second quarter, April. And come September and come next year, you're gonna be like, I'm so happy I did. And now you got a base which you which you started from, and now you just becomes easier. It becomes easier. So to help yourself, the best thing you could do for yourself, whether you're trying to work out, whether you're trying to strengthen your finances, whether you're trying to read the Bible in a year, in two years, whatever it is, you have to make a plan and take action. Hope this helped and be investor. Trying to increase our financial IQ so we can break the cycle of generational poverty. And I will see you on the next one. And until next time, continue to command your money to grow.